Okay, so it cut out, you guys. I'm sorry. So I guess it's going to be three. So let me hurry up so it don't cut off again. Okay, so the fire. There is a fire, and the fire is like this high. I'm like, oh, my God, I am scared. I am scared, and we have these gargles. So we immediately put on our gargles, and the first thing I know is my nose start running. And there's all this smoke everywhere. My nose start running, and... You don't want to wipe your nose because the clothes that you're wearing, you're already in stuff. You know, it could be poison ivy. It could be anything that can affect you. So, you know, you, you don't want to go like this or your nose is just running. So, Captain is calling names. He's telling people, giving their orders exactly what to do. And thank God I wasn't one of the ones that had to go into the fire. Right? So, um... You know, you have to cut down the tree, you have to pick up the tree, you have to throw it, you have to start cutting line, you have to start scraping the dirt over to the side. My job was to start throwing the dirt on the fire, right? So I was given my, my job to do, and I started throwing the dirt on the fire, because I'm scared. Like, this is a fire, we, we're about to die, right? And I look at the other women who was also supposed to be helping me, they're not. They're so scared. They have their back toward us. And they're just standing there like little puppies, like with their head down, like little puppies. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this. Do I join them and not fight the fire? I do I keep doing what I'm supposed to do and throwing the dirt onto the fire. So I'm throwing the dirt onto the fire. And oh my God, you guys, the fire went from here to here. So, oh my God, so now the fire is way up here. I'm like standing there looking at it like, oh my God, we's about to die. We's about to die now. Oh my God, I'm about to run, okay? What do I do? The captain is in the fire, okay? They're moving so fast. Their job is to cut a line, cut the trees, move them out the way, out the way so the fire doesn't spread. Mm -mm, that didn't work. That did not work. This fire spread. And I'm looking at my crew and I'm thinking, oh my God, they are about to die. They are about to die. What do I do? Where do I run? Where is the burn? <laughs> oh my God, you guys. So the captain says, get out. Let's go. The captain gets out. Um, and then there was this old lady. The old lady is 45 years old, 40 years old, 42. But she's acting like she's 50. She acts like she's 55. I couldn't stand this old lady. She always played the old lady card, right? This lady couldn't get up, okay? So you have to remember they had to climb flat. They had to climb a little down and then start cutting the line, right? So they right here. So you have to jump back up. She couldn't get up. She could not get up. I'm like, looking at him. My eyes are bugged. My boogers are running. And I'm like, we're supposed to die. We're supposed to die. She couldn't get up. And I remember, remember what they taught you. Remember what they taught you. Your captain is going to leave you out. Nothing's going to happen to you. Stay calm. So I start to pray. The Lord is my shepherd, I should know where we lead and I do that, you know, we want to walk through the da 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 I started to pray. And as I started to pray, God said, grab her hand. So I came out of it. And I put my hand down and she grabbed my hand and I pulled her up. And it's funny because they was calling her name. They was like, move, bitch. Move, get your A out. Did I just curse? Sorry. Move, B, get your A out the way. Go, go, go. She couldn't. So I put my hand down. She grabbed my hand and I pulled her up. I pulled her up, got up, and Captain, let's go. We followed the captain up. We went up to another burn area. 